Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam. And here on my channel, I post mostly anti-MLM, anti-scam, and anti-diet culture content. So if that sounds like your thing, make sure that you hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss when I drop a new video. And if you are not new, as always, I appreciate you more than words can say and thank you so much for coming back. So we have some more Monate girlies to react to in this video. If you missed my first Monate react video, I will make sure to link that in the description of this video. But you all seem to kind of really like that type of content where I was able to debunk what they were saying and give you the actual correct information that they should be telling you. So I decided let's do it again. I will be sharing clips of these individuals who are claiming to be scalp educators and hair educators and hairstylists. This is not to incite any kind of hate or bullying. So please do not seek out these people that I am putting in my videos. I am using them purely for an example. I am sure that these individuals are very nice people. I'm not doing this to draw any kind of negative attention to them or their profiles. This is just a way to show a real life example or multiple real life examples of what is actually going on inside of these MLMs. In this video particularly, we're talking about Monet, but I am purely using these clips and these situations to display the problematic behavior that is going on and is being encouraged. So with that, let's get into it. So this first girl that we're going to react to and take a look at, she is very much giving Michaela vibes as far as false advertising goes. I found a disgusting amount of false advertising when it comes to Monet, more so than usual when you're looking at Monet puns, TikToks or Instagrams. It's really bad. This was the first uh, TikTok that I saw from this Monet Nate girl, if you didn't watch the first video, I should let you know. I come from a hairstylist family. My mom is a licensed hairstylist. My aunt is a licensed hairstylist. My cousin is a licensed hairstylist and I am a licensed hairstylist. I do not practice any longer, but I did work in a salon for seven years. So I have a little bit of a background when it comes to any kind of hairstyling or hair product, MLMs. And this one, drew me in because when I saw her like lifting up her hair, you can tell when somebody has extension. A lot of the time it's not very obvious if they're done really well. And I'm not saying that her hair extensions are not done well. They do look really good, but you can tell that she has hair extensions. So I was like, what the f I'm scrolling through her TikTok and she doesn't say anywhere that I saw that she has hair extensions. She did not divulge that information for anybody to be made aware of and it only gets worse from here. I did find a video where she's flipping her hair all around and showing it off. Beautiful by the way. I love her hair. I think redheads have the most fun but in this TikTok, you can see when she's lifting up like the bond. I'll put up a picture of what hair extensions actually look like when they're bonded onto the hair in case you have never seen them. But in this video, you can see her hair extensions. And again, she never divulges that she has hair extensions. She's just pretending like she has this long, beautiful hair and her hair is beautiful, but it's not that long. So you are telling all of these people on TikTok that are watching your content, you're leading them to believe that this is your real hair and Monate helped you grow that real hair out. I have a problem with that, but it gets worse. This is just her taking her false advertising essentially and taking it one step further because now she's saying that she chopped all her hair off and she's gonna show you how fast her hair grows. This was her regular length. You can see her regular length in the video where she's flipping her hair all around with the hair extensions. You can tell that it was about this length. She probably got a trim, in my opinion. It was just continuing to tick me off, but then I found more, so let's watch it. So why are these ones problematic? Because her hair is brown. 
Her hair is dark brown. And now she's playing it off like she bleaches her hair every four weeks to get it purple or pink. Those are filters. And there were literally people in the comments asking her, how do you get your hair that color and this and that? And she's leading them on. She just continues the false advertising and she's pulling these people down this hole further and she never once that I saw on her TikTok came out and said I have extensions or this is a filter. When they comment on her videos she's not correcting them. She's not saying oh this is just a filter. She's leading them on to believe that her hair actually looks like that and it blows my mind. Again like she is really trying to bamboozle everybody. Why don't you use drugstore shampoo? And she says because it made my hair look like this. Okay. Okay, remember that, drugstore shampoo. A few posts later, she posts the same picture with her hair extension red hair and says, them telling me salon products are the best. But this is how my hair transformed after getting off salon products. Not drugstore products, salon products. Those are two completely different things. And if anybody actually has education and the knowledge of what happens with hair care and hair products, they would know that. So drugstore products are generally not always good for your hair. They have a lot of fillers and different chemicals in them. Salon products are better for your hair. They have chemicals in them, so does Monet. Anything that's going to clean anything has some type of chemical in it. Water is a chemical. Everything is a chemical. The fact that she is intertwining the drugstore products and the salon products, it's just so telling to show you how ignorant these Monate market partners really are. They are not trained in any way to help you with your hair. They are fed this false narrative that they know all of the things about hair and all they have to do is read these pamphlets about the products and tell everybody to use them and scrub their hair and everything will be better and your hair is going to grow and be shiny and full. It's it's not, no, they don't know what they're talking about and this is showing that. So this TikTok went semi-viral recently and it's just funny because all she's doing is showing us all of her breakage and she made a rebuttal video to this and she used the fact that the hair is blonde to prove that it's not breakage, which didn't make sense. She's just like blowing all of her breakage to show you. <laughs> She's making it seem like it's a good thing and people were kind of letting her know like, hey, this is not helping your case at all. So maybe, maybe don't do that. But she still doesn't want to hear that that is breakage. It's not new baby hairs growing in that they all like to say. It's breakage. That is breakage. That is exactly what breakage looks like. It's not your baby hair, it's just all growing in at the same time rapidly. This is something that all Monet market partners tend to like to do, like they swing their hair around. Speaking of swinging your hair around, can we just have a moment of silence for my hair? As a hairstylist, it took me about 17 years to finally uh, chemically burn my hair off, so I had to chop it all off, and that was totally my doing, and I'm going, I am nursing it back to health. Um, but even them like swinging their not so healthy hair around makes me feel a little sad for myself. Okay, but anyway, this video came up in my feed and it's something that all the Monate market partners do is the swing of the hair. They flop it around so you can't really see what's going on. And if you really take a minute, like it looks cool, like it's pleasing, aesthetically pleasing to the eye when hair is moving like that, so you're not paying attention to all of the damage at the ends of the hair. But if you take the time to really look at these market partners who are doing that with their hair to show the results the product is giving them, you can see that the ends of their hair is very fine and very frizzy because like I had explained in my first video, the cuticle is frayed. It's wide open. It's fried. They need a significant haircut to actually get their hair back to health because again you cannot repair your hair from complete damage to 100% health ever again. You can get it to a certain point but your hair is dead. It's dead. These are dead cells on our head. You can't get them back to health and once they are at this point of damage that we're seeing in this video here that you see the ends of her hair are just like super fine and super frizzy 
it needs to be cut. There's no saving that. The magnetic split end, whatever they have that they claim repairs split ends to newborn hair. It is a marketing gimmick. Any any smoothing serum will do that for the time that your hair is styled. So that is not something that can happen. Again, just get a haircut. So this one kind of hit me. I'm a little hormonal right now. If you know, you know. I saw this one and it made me really, really sad. And I don't know why it hit me that way, but it really did. First of all, she's gorgeous. Can we just take that for a second? Second, it just makes me sad that so many, specifically moms, are being targeted and sold this dream of being able to bring your husband home or your significant other home, stay home and be a full-time mom and raise your kids. Like, it makes me so upset that there are still people falling for this when still 99.97% of people who join MLMs end up losing money and not actually being able to stay home with their kids because now they're in even more financial trouble. And I hate that people are falling for things like this. And I hope that she is doing well and she is able to be present with her kids, but so many times, like even me, I run my own business and I run my YouTube channel. It takes a lot of time and I have to sacrifice time with my kids, but I also get other perks from doing that. Like I work for myself, so I make my own hours. But with the MLMs, these women are being bamboozled into this dream lifestyle that isn't practical, specifically with this business model. Like I was watching one other video earlier this week about about this woman who was on vacation and she's actually part of Optavia and she got snowed in where she was and there was no Wi-Fi and it was like a big nightmare. You should be able to roll with the punches when you claim to live a lifestyle like this that you are claiming to live. It shouldn't be like I'm on vacation but I'm gonna bring my laptop to the pool. I feel like I'm really rambling on now. So it just made me really sad. I get wanting that freedom and wanting to be present with your kids. It only lasts for such a short amount of time. And so many times we see women push these businesses so hard. And then by the time they realize that they spent so much time not neglecting their kids so much, but just working the business instead of being present like they wanted to be, I wish it would stop. Moving on. (laughs) So our favorite girl is back from the last Monet React MLM fails video. And she's at it again with her magnetic split end repair garbage. Somebody commented on one of her videos and said that basically like it doesn't exist. You can't fix, you cannot repair split ends. Okay, so no hate to this person because a lot of people think that a product like this doesn't exist, but it does. And unfortunately, we gonna learn today. So she shows this video of somebody like using what I believe is supposed to be the split end repair cream that they have on I don't know if it's a piece of hair or a thread or string of some sort but they claim that it repairs 100% of split ends three millimeters long and under within one minute but then the last thing it says is it lasts for up to two to three washes so it doesn't repair them with their magnetic technology it does not repair them what it does is basically coats your hair so that it's one slick strand of hair and it keeps it that way for two to three washes it does not repair your split ends it does just like any other serum will do for your hair and smooths out your split ends and your cuticle so that it looks nice and shiny. Don't buy into the bullshit of them selling you magnetic split end repair garbage because it's total bullshit. 
it's a lie. And with that, I know this was a super short one today, but I wanted to make sure that I stick to three videos a week. I'm really trying really hard to keep that schedule. But after last week's big, huge lady boss announcement and the three part deep dive, which if you missed, you can go and check out here. I needed something that would require a little less from me for the first video of the week. I hope you like this. I will see you over there or in my next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the bell so that you never miss when I post a new video and I will see you guys soon.